So what's on the buckle side? What, okay, what so right, right okay. To? Right, right. Okay, so let me let me go buckle. And this is uh there's only one one tiny, tiny little little advantage that that I have that he doesn't, okay? And it's right here. It's in this process right here. Um, because um, this this piece, see this piece? This is complete on his side already, okay? It's already set. That's where it's going to be. Okay, on my side, right, it's not complete yet, okay? That tightening piece happens at the very end. And uh, by the time it's put on, it's tight, so it's hard to adjust it. Okay, that's the magic that's going on here. Okay, now believe it or not, you're going to think that this cheat is ridiculously silly and it's impossible, but let me tell you, it works, even at high level, okay? Um, all right, so like I said, you want all straps towards you, okay? That's all, all my straps, and that's all his straps as well. I want all his straps towards me. If I, if I could pick to have his strap move up, I would. If I could pick to have this angle be from here to here, I would definitely do that. Okay, and, and that's what I can affect on this side. So right away when we're when the strap is going on, okay, what I can do is when I'm kind of messing around here, is I can push <laughs> up on his strap. Okay? Sure. You think that it you think that he'd notice that, but trust me, people do not notice it. Okay? <laughs> they, they really don't. They think you're hooking them, they, they're thinking about something else. Guys who are great, you know, there's so many ways to be good at a sport, okay? You can be strong, you can be smart. You can be charismatic and a politician, you know? Like you watch Travis arm wrestle. I learned a lot from pulling Travis. He's a great, he's a great technician, especially at the start. Travis doesn't stop talking. <laughs> he doesn't stop talking from the time he, he gets called up to the time they say go. He's working like crazy. He's working the referee, he's putting pressure on that guy. You know, he's putting pressure on this guy. He's putting pressure on the audience. You know, he's trying to ramp everything up so that he stops seeing things, so he stops seeing things, so they get blind and, and, and things start happening and he's in control of the situation, right? So you can do that same thing, right? When, when you're doing these cheats, you know, you have to detract uh, people's attention, right? It's almost like magic, right? You need to be talking to the referee, talking to this guy, and you're, and you're working your cheat, you know, so that he's actually, he's thinking something else is going on, and, and that's actually what's going on, okay? Um, yeah. That's good yeah. <laughs> and you should pull in the strap constantly. Like in, in practice, you get to the table and pull in the strap. Get comfortable. Because once, it's like the default setting. The default setting in arm wrestling is referee's grip. You can always get a referee's grip. Just face it. Like that's a part of arm wrestling that you can get to. You can force it. You can also force the strap. I feel that the majority, of, if you want to be really a hardcore great arm wrestler, be prepared to pull in the strap in a referee's grip every single time you arm wrestle. You know? Because the other guy can do it to you. And if he can do it to you, then well, that's the game, you know? That's 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 an end end state. And you can work that piece too. So I'd I'd say if you want mastery over any piece, it'd be straps, referee's grip. So Yeah. Why don't we do uh you guys wanna pull again for a bit? Anything else yeah. you can do in the referee's grip? In the referee's grip? Yeah. Oh, you know, Referee's grip is a total nightmare. Um, I, I, I gotta say that the referee's grip is something that the sport needs to look at. I think it's a mess. I think it's a nightmare. I think it's high stakes. All I think it does is it adds pressure on the entire situation. Because I'll tell you, with all my years of arm wrestling, uh, people, it just, you, people don't start fair. They don't do it. And in the referee's grip, there is movement. There is pressure. Okay. And, and what it does is, it, is it's it's not achieving its, its, its aims, right? The referees are being told that if there's movement, that they have to call a foul, right? And at the same time, arm wrestlers are under the pressure to win, and the referee is under the pressure to start the matches. And there is the paradox right there, you know? So, in my opinion, what really needs to happen is there needs to be an adjustment piece to the referee's grip itself. Uh, but, just know that you can still cheat in a referee's grip and this guy's under a lot of pressure to sit to start the match okay there's things that you can do with your thumb um when when you uh in the referee's grip when they say close the thumb where you close the thumb can have massive influence 
on on what the other guy can do. Like if we're if we're doing a referee's grip, okay. When they say close the thumb, okay. If I know the guy is a hooker, I can close my thumb like this, you know. And I technically did close my thumb. You know what I mean? Like I, I can close it wide, okay. If I know the guy is a post guy, I can close my thumb like this, okay. So there's adjustments that you can do with the thumb, right? If I know he's a top roller, and they say close your thumb, me closing it like this, right? You know, it changes things, you know? Uh, I really, I think that the referee's grip is, it's, it's just really more high stakes, you know? You can, we can work with it, we can work with it. Uh, another thing that you have to know is timing of a referee's grip. Just know that as soon as the hands are closed, that referee is calling go. So a lot of things is people do the referee's grip and, the, and they feel like they weren't ready. But that that's getting closed, closed, ready go. You know, and uh, and you have to know it's almost like it's your don't move. You know, as soon as that hand gets closed, it's coming. So guys start their start their cheat process right there heavily, right? So right, they're together. Like close close the one thumb, close the other. Close the hand, and then as soon as that hand is closed, guys are basically starting starting the process. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's let's pull for a bit, and we'll take it out again.